What's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. So, first coat going on. Doesn't have to be anything crazy yet. Coach Jack down there putting his first coat on. We still gotta get in with the uh, regular paint brush and some of those cracks. But the first thing is, I'm just gonna try to get a first coat of black all the way around. And then we'll do some of the more finer details and then we'll put the second coat on. We're about to see what the young college non-paid painters were able to do for us. Let's get Laura on camera. Look at this place. <laughs> Let's see how a professional does it right there. Look at that. Yeah, don't get it all over. There you go. <laughs> We're documenting. Are you actually making a documentary? Yeah. This is the worst part right here. It's all these small areas. All right, so it's about 6.30 at night, and as you can see around me, hopefully you're able to see that. We're getting there. Started at around 6.30 this morning, and so I've been painting. I had six hours of lessons, and then I came back to paint again. My dad painted <laughs> throughout the day. He went to do lessons, and we've had Sam Belliveau, we've had Chris Rashis, Juan Rivera is on his way now to paint. So we're pulling an all-nighter, all and uh, we're gonna come back tomorrow and have a lot more to go. So actually, we're gonna add up there, above that, we're gonna add some gold. Let me show you guys this real quick, because this is a, a tough decision, but I, I believe we made it. Let me show you real fast. So those are the golds that we're deciding between. This is too mustardy to me too yellow. This is a combination of these two, which is still too yellow. And then this is Lara's right here. She said that that one right there would be the best. And it was. That's the one we're going with. So luckily we listened to her. We went to Home Depot. She found a metallic gold. These are all, these are all golds, but they don't look gold compared to that gold. So hopefully you guys like that, but that's what we're painting it. So we're about to get to work on that now. Probably paint until I don't know how late tonight, but we've got 7 a.m. practice tomorrow. I'm gonna get practice going, then I'm gonna come back here and paint, and then go back to practice, and then come back and paint, and then hopefully we're done tomorrow night. We have to be done tomorrow night because the Mets go in the next day. My painting technique? Yeah. Somebody's definitely gonna come in. We're getting there. It's about 14, about 14 hours in. 
to, to do this 14 straight hours of painting. Not for us, but everyone involved. All right, we're back for day two. Just came from practice. They're already hard at work. We had to pay the big bucks for Coach P. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah that's right. It's professional. Yeah, it my ass. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you gotta check out the batting gloves for work gloves. Look at the proper form he's using. <laughs> we got uh, Mr. Jack over here. <laughs> Wasn't nice, Jack. But... <laughs> yeah man, need a second coat back there and then the gold up top and then that wall. That wall is gonna be fun. Alright. First stripe of gold going on. Gotta go all the way around. Time to go on this side. Going on hour 14. All right guys, so <laughs> this has been the longest weekend of all time. We've gone 7 a.m. till almost midnight, pretty much, back to back days. Um, jumping between here and lessons and practices so, uh, but we haven't taken any, we haven't taken a second off from 7 a.m. till midnight. It's midnight right now. We're finally gonna head out. We are not complete with everything. I'll show you guys here a look in a second. Um, but we are, we're done with what we need to. We just needed to get the, the outside walls done here because the nets are coming in tomorrow and then we can work on the rest of it. And we can even like fine tune some of the things. So this isn't the finished product, but we had to get this done for the nets tomorrow. Um, and then we'll keep working. I actually feel less tired than uh, when I was a minor league player. So, like, I could easily right now, this feels like, I'd feel great right now if I was a minor league player. This would be like pfft, nothing. I'd have about another eight hours or so of work, and then I'd start feeling like a minor league player again. So, not too bad. But we're going home. We'll see how the Nets look tomorrow. I gotta, I gotta get up and let them in here in about seven hours and 30 minutes. So I gotta get home, eat dinner, go to sleep, wake right back up and get right back in here. So I'm gonna probably get about four hours of sleep tonight, but eventually it will be worth it. If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. 
Matt Antonelli here, former major league player, first round pick, and college coach. With this course, we're gonna show you exactly, step by step, how to generate power, develop bat speed, and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.